good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are in the world. I hope you guys are having a good day. Welcome back if you're new to the channel. My name is David Sabacha. And yes, we are back in LA. Uh, last time when I saw my friend Tim Lee, he posted this video about this uh, Cuban restaurant that has like a massive brunch. You know, we come in and they give you like a fresh coconut. So you know, this time, since I'm back in LA, I have to go give them a try. So if you guys are ready for some Cuban cuisine, all you can eat, let's go. AKA Since the All You Can Eat brunch is only offered on Sunday, make sure you guys make a reservations. We made a reservations and there was still a 20 minutes wait for our table. A few moments later. So the fresh coconut is not part of the brunch buffet. You can add rum to it and it costs $8 extra. I got mine without rum and it was pretty delicious. Before we eat, let me show you guys around and see what they have to offer. So when you first walk in to your left, you have the breakfast item like your french toast, bacon, chicken sausage, pork sausage, and fresh berries. And right next to that, you have a small bakery station for those who like to eat dessert first. Here is where you will find the famous dressed leches cake, brownies bites, and key lime tarts. And right next to it, we have a section for the kids where you can find some corn dog, chicken tender, tater tot, Totstones or fried plantain and fried yuca. And as we move to the right, we have the salsa bar and the pre mixed salad bar. And at the end, we have some smoked salmon, salami, watermelons, and pineapple. And to my younger audience, this is how TV used to look like back in the days. And this is a typewriter. This is how we type before we have computer. Look at this pen. And right in this hallway, we have some more goodies. On one side, we have the pastry sections where you can find croissant, chocolate muffins, and bagels. And on the other side, we have chocolate mousse and delicious flan. We got the bar in the middle And right here, this is where all the entree is at So right here we have some baked salmon It seems to be popular with the crowd Followed by some side dishes such as grilled vegetable, grilled grapefruit, tostones, yucca, mushroom, brussels sprout, and fried banana And here we have the meat lover stations where you can find some oxtail, turkey, sausage, brisket, tri-tip or bottom sirloin, white rice, and black beans. And at the end, you have a whole lechon followed by a huge plate of paella. And over here, we have the seafood section where you can find some shrimp, dutchiness crab, and Jonah crab claw. And right next to the seafood section, we have some healthy side dishes such as mojo green beans, char kale, and Caesar salad. And last but not least, we have the omelette stations. You pick your ingredients and the chef will make a delicious omelette for you. So that's pretty much it. And outside here, we have the patio section. This is where we sit over here. Unfortunately, our table is right under the speaker and the music was pretty loud. So the microphone picked up all the music and you know how YouTube feel about that copyrighted music. So there goes that live audios. Anyways, we're gonna start out with some lechon, paella, Dungeness crab, Jonah crab claw, sausage, and oxtail. We're gonna try this uh, paella. The paella was pretty good, well flavored. I didn't see any squid, just clam and mussel, but it's all good. Oh snap, I almost forgot. You know your boy can't leave the house without sriracha. Got lechon, sriracha. The lechon was okay. I was looking forward to the roasted crispy skin, but instead, 
they have the pig covered with these pork grind. And I guess that will do. After all, it is pork skin. I don't know you guys can hear, but very loud in there. The Jonah Crab Claw was pretty good. They were nice enough to pre-crack them for you, so all you have to do is eat. And of course, you can never go wrong with a Dungeness Crab. Dungeness Crab is good. Want one? For round two, we're gonna try some brisket, some oxtail since my wife decided to eat mine, and some more paella. And yes, it was that good, I had to get it again. Right, we're gonna start with this uh, beef brisket. See how it tastes like. Mm. Very fatty, very moist. You know when you ask the vouchers to everything, it tastes good. Mm. That smells really good. Look at this muscle. New Zealand muscle. You know the oxtail is good when you know when you use your hand to eat it. Look at this big fat piece. Let's go see what else we can eat next. And for round three, we're gonna try some tri-tip, aka bottom sirloins. And just by looking at how the chef is cutting the meat, you can tell that it's gonna be super soft. And for our side dish, let's get a chorizo and spinach omelette. And while we're at it, let me show you guys how the chef make the omelettes. First, he sauteed the chorizo and spinach with a cube of butter. Then he add in the eggs and he let it cook for a bit. Then he flip it and let the other side cook. And then he grab a handful of cheese and deep down inside I was like no I am far from home he let it cook it for a little bit more so that the cheese can melt and voila there you have it folks freshly made omelet to your liking beef tip tastes like fajita Not bad. Let's try this um, eggs and cheese and chorizo omelette. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hot. Good. Okay. So for dessert, we're gonna try some chocolate mousse some tres leches cake, and some flan. Wow, flan is really good. So creamy. Wow. Mm. Tres leches is okay. Chocolate mousse is okay as well. Our bill came out to be 114.22, and with tips, was 140 even. So anyways, uh, you know, I thought it was, you know, it was different. It was so good. I like the environment, you know, I feel like we're in um, Cuba. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you soon.